volunteer from Canada to expressly to work for TED uh, because, because this is an incredible thing to be a part of. I, I was a military musician for 13 years and my last contract I was working in northern Alberta uh, with the army band, the artillery band out there. And halfway through I realized, uh, you know, surgeries later and so forth, I, I couldn't keep doing that life. It was not creative. Halfway through that contract, I was on a vacation visiting some family in Brooklyn and I took the bus out to New Jersey to see Ted. After being recommended by a couple of people, this guy's a good guy, uh, Spazman's a good dude, I think you should talk with him. Ted's wife picked me up from the bus stop, Ted's in the basement, go down and see him. So he's, he's down there working on a mouthpiece and turns around his chair and he had this bandana on. He gave me this look like, so what do you want? And I said, uh, I'd like to work for you, <laughs> please, sir. And he says, he says, okay, all right, okay. And he says, tell you what, and he goes to the crawl space of his basement, this little tiny other world, and he pulled out, I mean, it was half a mouthpiece. I don't even know what happened to this thing. And he gave me a file the size of a machete and this other one the size of a toothpick. And he said, make this look like this. He sat me down at a bench and I was like, oh, okay. Uh, craftsmanship always appealed to me, even though I had no skill with my hands at the time. Ted evaluated my aptitude. And even though it was crude and it was really rough and the five hours or whatever I sat there and came not even close, I'm sure. He, he looked at me and gave me the sidelong glance. He said, you never done this before? I said, no. And so he said, okay. He said, I think, I think you've got good aptitude. I like your attitude. He said, let's, let's talk for the future. Uh, so that was a two-year transition to retire out of the military. Came out here. That began my apprenticeship uh, in the house in River Edge. 